You're watching Telecom TV from the Smart IoT London event. And I'm joined now by Anne Lange, who is the co-founder and CEO of Mentis. And very nice to talk to you on Telecom TV. Thank you. Now, as I said, this event, it's a Smart IoT London event. This relationship between IoT and smart cities, what exactly is the role of IoT in a smart city? We are changing the paradigm of what we can do uh, in smart cities thanks the IoT. So beyond technologies, uh, I think uh, we are capable to deliver new services that will truly impact behaviours. And these services, what exactly are we looking at? You have multiple kind of services. Uh, I consider that the one that will be more efficient because you have a validated business models proven around uh, them are all services related to energy and lighting, that's one category, and all the services related to mobility, the two are offering plenty opportunities and uh, connected new services, such as uh, smart lighting, smart parking, uh, smart connected buildings, etc. And at the moment, are we tending to see those services that are more easy to deploy and understand or the ones that will, will generate the most potential to the city? Yes, yeah, so the most um, easy to deploy are uh, probably the ones related to mobility. I think traffic and parking uh, are today relatively well defined uh, with good business model associated to them. Uh, on energy, uh, on waste, it's uh, maybe a little bit more complex. Now, when you deploy a network of sensors through the city, that's one thing, that's difficult in itself, but that, that's one yeah. task. But then you've got to understand the data that, that comes back. So, so how important is it that, that cities apply themselves to, to understand the, the data they, they extract from sensors? That's the point, because in an IoT world, uh, we know that we can potentially access a wide range of data which turn to be a complete mess. You have data from uh, sensors, from cameras, from connected urban furniture, from smartphones, etc., etc. So one of the first challenge is to create coherence within those data, to filter them in the appropriate way, and to be able to treat them in a truly intelligent way. Data for the sake of data is meaningless. So how does Mentis help with this? So at Mentis, uh, we are a software company. Uh, we are first of all trying to get uh, uh, the, the more value out of the Internet of Things by providing a middleware that will treat, filter, um, uh, and organize those data in an intelligent way. And on the second phase of each development project, we are uh, developing the right applications based on those data. So for instance, uh, we are advising cities on the kind of sensors and connected objects they need to deploy in order to generate uh, a database that at the end of the day will be turned into relevant services and concrete services. When you say you're advising cities, um, are cities coming to you? Uh, uh, are you seeing that cities understand the need and, and are looking for information and help, or are you still having to, to sell the concept into cities? Yes, they do, because cities have been talking about smart cities for ages now, and they are still lost in the way to uh, uh, organize uh, those new services. So they like to talk to startups because uh, we are regarded as uh, companies bringing true innovations, even if for the implementation we still need lar large organization for supporting the deployment or quite complex solutions. But in terms of vision, in terms of practicability of the new services, uh, yes, we have a strong uh, and very good relationship with cities. All this data that, that that's collected, is the big data models we're looking at, we're starting to hear now that that's not necessarily the end of it and that you, you need expertise, you need domain expertise to, to truly yeah. understand and, and work with that, with that data. How does that apply to cities? Yes, because uh, it, it, again, the, the challenge for cities is not managing data. The challenge is to deliver concrete services serving concrete uh, 
needs of the citizens. So what we are trying to do is to start from use cases. And for instance, at Mentis, we have developed a complete suite of uh, use cases around mobility, traffic, parking, etc. And once a city has defined what it wants to achieve in, in a given domain, we are advising the city about the kind of connected object to be deployed to get the relevant data and be able to create the relevant applications for the citizens. Are we seeing a lot of, of, of startups getting involved in, in smart cities and developing applications and services, or are we still seeing some of the, the, the big IT companies wanting yeah. to control? Yeah, so you have a mix of uh, uh, startups and large companies. I consider they don't have the same role. Uh, at the startups, we are partnering with large companies for the integration of uh, uh, IoT or smart city solutions. None of the player is capable to provide technologies for the entire spectrum. So we love working with large company, large integrators, and we provide what, what a startup is, is well positioned to provide. We, we provide the innovation on a limited number of segments that will make the difference. Are we, are we right to say smart cities and use the word smart cities? Are we right to look at a city-wide basis? Is that, is that the best model or is the city too big? Should we be sort of segmenting more? Well, uh, the, 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 I would say the value of the IoT and the value of some of uh, the, the models we are promoting is that they apply whatever the size of the district or the city. And I think it's one of the challenges we are trying to, to really solve is to be able to deliver those new generation of services, whatever the size of the territory that you are trying to address. To me, what is extremely important is the transversality, is to be able to manage the territory from its entire perspective, managing uh, parking, traffic, lighting, uh, environment data and uh, uh, waste, for instance, on, on, on a coherent uh, way. But it's not necessary uh, targeting a very large city as opposed to a small territory. I want the IoT to be applicable for any territory, whatever the size. And I think it's possible. And a final question for you. Do you think we'll realize this vision of smart cities soon? I think so, because uh, I think that we are on the way to do it. We, we still have lots of innovations in front of us. It's that what makes us so excited. But frankly, we are at a moment where uh, we have a first set of technologies ready for uh, clearly delivering uh, a new generation of services. And thank you very much for talking thank with you. us on Telecom TV. Thank you. Thank you.